Hello, good evening uh, to everyone. Good evening. How are you? Uh, Miss Molina, how are you? I'm fine, teacher, and you? I'm fine too. I'm so tired because I've been working. What about you? Uh, who is your, who is, who is your um, grandfather? It's your grandfather, right? You say? Hey, and that moment is uh, he has a good conditional condition and also i have a high pressure uh, but is a disagree than other states because the weather uh, right now is very colder and it's for the reason when the weather is colder uh, his pressure is alders is is high okay ah uh, perdón is higher <laughs> okay um let's see who else is here miss lopez she's not there uh mr sanchez how are you hey teacher how are you I'm fine. <laughs> I'm fine too, sir. What do you do today? What do you do today? Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, I work uh, at La Union, in La Union too. Oh, you're working in La Union. Okay, that's good. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Uh, yes. Uh, let me see who else is here. Miss Vidal. Welcome, good evening. Hello, good evening. How are you, Miss? I'm fine, and you? I'm fine, Miss. What do you do today? Do you work? No, I'm studying. Oh, you study. Ah, you're studying. Oh, okay, got it. Yes. Yes, I'm studying. I'm in the second year of university. Oh, that's good. Where are you studying? Where? What are you studying? What uh, um, are you? I'm studying business administration. Business administration, that's good. Very good. Where are you studying? In Unicaes. Unicaes. Santa Ana. Oh, good. Very good. Yes. Nice. But I'm from Metapan. Metapan, oh, so far? Yes. Oh, wow. <laughs> Very good. I don't like when, when uh, in my case, in, in my personal case, right? Uh, I don't like to travel too much for doing something. <laughs> if I have to travel, uh, I don't feel comfortable. But I, I know that some, uh, some people like when they uh, are in, in places that are so far. In my case, mm -hmm. I don't like to travel too, but oh. here in Metapam, uh, we don't have universities, so I have to, mm -hmm. oh. to travel to. Uh, that's mean, but, but what about, uh, it's not better if you study in, in San Salvador? No. No. Santa Ana is it's closer. Is more near to uh, yes, to Metamo. Oh, got it. Oh, very good. I, I, I have never been in, in Metapan. <laughs> so for the, for that reason I, I don't know what is it. Okay, let's see. We're going to start um, with a video class. Today, we are just four people. I don't know where are the rest. I will send a message. 
and to the WhatsApp group. Give me a second because we are just four. Let me see. Okay. Okay, I sent a message. Okay, guys. Uh, well, we're going to start with the with the video class. Um, as you know, we are we have been working uh, with some topics from the platform. The last topic that we we're discussing was uh, using have and get. And today we're going to be talking about phrasal the phrasal verbs. Welcome, Mister. Well, let me see. I, I saw that someone joined, presently joined. Uh, welcome, Mr. Neftali. Okay, so and uh, we're going to be working on 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 the phrasal verbs, and we're going to see um, when we construct uh, phrasal verbs with two words, and when we construct uh, phrasal phrasal verbs with three words. We're going to see that and how they work in English. Let's start. Um, first of all, uh, we're going to we're going to see we're going to read the objective for this class, and it says, um, in this class you will learn three word phrasal verbs in order to increase your vocabulary and to help to talk about services and dating. Um, in this part, if you notice, <clears throat> it says that we we are going to uh, learn vocabulary uh, and that that vocabulary is related to um, phrasal verbs and uh, in in this case also we see that we have phrasal verbs that uh, uh, are composed with three words um, we're going to see that but also we're going to be checking we're going to be uh, doing like a contrast and a comparison between uh, two word phrasal verbs and three words phrasal verbs. Okay, so let's see, let's start. Oh, here I have a quote that we must discuss uh, before beginning the, the video class. And it says, uh, when you reach the end of your rope, tie a knot and it and hang on. Uh, Hang on, I mean, sorry, hang on. Um, so there we have that quote, and I want you to um, tell me what do you think about it. And we're going to be, um, let's see, just 
uh, we're going to have just three participations, okay? And then we're going to go to the, the topic that, uh, for tonight's class. Uh, let me see, uh, any volunteer? Is there any volunteer? Wants May to I try? It? Okay, mister, go ahead. Go ahead. I have to read this. I can see the presentation. Ah, she can see the presentation. Why? Uh, let me see. I don't know what I can. Give me a second. Stop sharing. And now sharing. And now, can you see the presentation? Yes. Yes. Okay. When you reach the the end of your row, right, and not in it, on Hanok, Hanong. Okay, hang on. Hanok. Okay, sir. What do you think about this quote? What is your opinion about it? When you reach the end of, of your row, tie a knot in it and hang on. Well, in my case, my opinion about this call is you have to start or begin is Propose in the correct time because mm -hmm. the life is very short and you have to mm -hmm. bike or fight, fight for his purpose before that. Mm -hmm. Before that, let's no, before is later. Okay. This is my opinion. Ah, okay, teacher. very good. Okay, very good. Thank you. So let's see someone else. Uh, I can see here to Miss Molina. What do you think about it? When you reach the okay. end of your role, in my opinion is when you are in something important, do uh, not let go or don't give up because if the the something is important, is working hard, hard working, okay. and and don't hang hang out. <laughs> Why? Because is the purpose is. Um, successful, uh, something like that. And I try to working hard because for that, I don't know, maybe the career, maybe, or I the dream of needing the new house is working hard and don't give up that realize the dreams. Maybe mm -hmm. in English is if you um, tienes algo en la mano, o sea, no, no, no lo sueltes, algo así, algo así por el estilo. Okay, very good. Thank you. Thank you. And that's right. Um, this is a, a famous quote from um, Franklin. Uh, Franklin, it was the president of, of the United States. It's, Franklin Roosevelt. Okay, have you ever listened to him? Roosevelt. Okay, this is a, a quote uh, that was taken from from uh, from him. He was um, a president. Mister? Franklin D. Roosevelt was a uh, president of the United States. Exactly, exactly. He was a president of the United States 
And uh, this quote was taken uh, from, from him. And check it out. Um, something that it is important um, here is that when, uh, when, when something is going wrong, or when you feel that something or everything is going wrong, uh, he said that you don't have to give up. As, as Miss uh, Molina said, uh, don't give up. Why? Because giving up never made anything right. Um, it's only when you hang on and, and, and when you keep uh, on fighting uh, for what you want in, in the things that, 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 that you really uh, want to achieve, uh, you must uh, keep um, on it and go there. Um, when we're talking about hang, uh, hang on um, in this part, it's not mean like stopping there, okay? It's not mean, uh, uh, okay, I, I'm in this, uh, I'm in this point, okay? And I won't let that anything else uh, could me at this point, because I will tie, I will tie a, a knot, and I will, um, I will hang on, on on things that I'm doing. Okay, that's what he said. Um, we're going to see right now um, the phrasal verbs. That is the topic for tonight class, and. We're going to see uh, both two word phrasal verbs and three word phrasal verbs. That's that, that's uh, we're going to focus on it. Okay. Uh, first of all, phrasal verbs. What are phrasal verbs? Can you tell me what are phrasal verbs? Have you ever listened uh, about phrasal verbs? Yes, yes or no? the yeah. describing an action of the person doing. Okay, very good. Very good. Okay, um, phrasal verbs are phrases that indicate actions. Um, phrasal verbs are common when we uh, speak in English on when we are using them in informal text. Uh, for instance, if you are writing a letter for your friend, or if you are talking with someone uh, that is your friend, um, or you have confidence with, with him or her. And um, so you want to show an action or, or indicate an action. You can use it there in those contexts. Why? because uh, they are kind of uh, informal, okay? They're kind of informal. We're going to see some examples, and here we have some of them of how they are constructed. Uh, and the first one that we have here is turn down. Second one is come across, and the third one is run in, okay? We're going to see um, uh, some other phrasal verbs and the meaning of them. Uh, let's see, it says that phrasal verb consists of a verb in a preposition or an adverb, okay? In that way, we're going to construct those phrasal verbs. Get out of this. Um, then we have get, get out, okay? Go through, write down, take after, okay? Those are phrasal verbs. If we join those, uh, the verb plus the preposition or the adverb, we are, going, we are going to construct a phrasal verb. Remember, phrasal verbs are, are constructed by a verb plus preposition or an adverb. Let's see. Um, here we have um, how we construct phrasal verbs using three words <clears throat> three words uh, and phrasal verbs, okay? 
In this case, we're using verb plus preposition or adverb or preposition plus preposition or adverb. Uh, adverb mean. Uh, if you look at these examples that we have here, it says, look forward to, put out with, sit in for, okay? Those, those are examples of three words phrasal verbs. Um, let's see. Here we here I have some some phrasal verbs. Uh, some of them, well, two of them are uh, two word phrasal verbs, and two of them are three word phrasal verbs. And I have the meaning here, and I have an example. Uh, we have the first one, and it says, "Look for, look for." In informal English um, or informal text, when we see "look for," um, we can say. Oh, the meaning that we can get from it is like search or seek, okay? Search or seek. And check it out this example. It says, he is looking for his kid. He is looking for his kid. What is he doing? What does he doing? What does he doing? Looking for. Looking for. Okay, another word to say it. Could be. Another word to say or oh, to express that could be. Instead of using looking for. Sorry, I didn't listen. Mister, I didn't listen. Try to find. Okay, trying to find something. Okay, very good. That, that's that's good. Okay, he's trying to find what his kids. Okay, or we can say too, he is searching his kids. Okay, because that that's the meaning of the of the of this phrase. Look for, look for mean search. Okay, and then we have the other one. That is verb plus a uh, adverb uh, or preposition and a uh, prepositional adverb. Uh, in this case, we have look up to, look up to. What is the meaning? Okay, the meaning of this phrasal verb is have a great deal of respect for a person. Have a great deal of respect for a person. Um, and here we have an example. It says, his father is his model. He is the person he looks up to, okay? He looks up to. What is the meaning of looks up to? Ah, okay, if we see the definition there, it says that look up to uh, means have a great deal of respect for, for a, someone or for a, a person. In this case, you will see the example here, and it says his father is his mother. Okay, there we're the identifying that uh, the person um, that were, that uh, um, he um, is, or he has a, a great deal of respect is his father, okay? Then we have the example number three, look forward to, look forward to. What does it mean? Awake eagerly or anticipate with pleasure. Check it out the example that we have here. She is looking forward to visit Paris, okay? She is looking forward to visit Paris, okay? What does it mean looking forward to? Ah, she is awaiting eagerly or she is anticipating with pleasure to visit Paris. Okay, look up. What does it mean? What does it mean look up? Uh, look up means to try to find a piece of, uh, of information by looking in a book or on a computer. Look up, okay? 
Uh, for instance, we have the example and it says, she didn't understand the word. She didn't understand the word. So she look, at, look it up in her dictionary, okay? So she look it up in her dictionary. So in that way, we're using look up. That's mean that we must try to find or we must uh, identify in a specific information or a, specific, or a piece of information uh, that we're looking for or that um, we're searching in, in this case in, in a book or uh, in uh, on a computer, okay? So there we have, we have two phrase, uh, I mean, two word phrasal verbs and three words phrasal verb. The, what happened with these phrasal verbs? Okay, they are informal, okay? When do we use it? Oh, in spoken English or informal uh, writing. In that way, we can use phrasal verbs. Remember, uh, try to, to keep in mind that. Let's see. The meaning of phrasal verbs. Sometimes it is difficult to understand the meaning of phrasal verbs before looking them up in a dictionary. It will be helpful to use the context to understand them, okay? Um, if, we, if we find, um, this, this is a key, okay? If we find a phrasal verb uh, and we want to know the meaning, okay, we mostly uh, when we find a phrasal verb, sometimes we, we don't get the meaning of that phrasal verb, but something that we can do uh, is to see the context or, or where the phrasal verb is being used and try to identify the meaning. Maybe we can identify the exact meaning of that phrasal verb, but if we see the context, okay, we can identify um, what could be a possible um, a possible definition for it, uh, or a possible meaning. Uh, let's see, uh, I will ask, let me see, Ms. Lopez. Yes, Lopez? <laughs> Hello, okay. Um, tell me, uh, what are phrasal verbs? Um, basically, that help us to explain better something we can. Okay. okay. Um, phrasal verbs are words that indicate an action. Okay. Indicate an action. Very good. Let's. Oh. Uh, is it okay? Uh, sometimes we are going to find that we have a phrase that verse that has a literal meaning or literal meaning, okay? And in this case, can be easily to understood. For instance, pick it out this example that we have here. She open the door and look outside. What does it mean? Uh, that she that she opened the door and she see what was happening outside, okay, outside the house. Um, the other one, she was walking across the street when she heard the sound of an explosion, okay, walking across, literal meaning, okay, that's the literal meaning. If we read, um, if we see, that's the meaning that this phrase of a phrase of her uh, has. Let's see this one, the idiomatic meaning. This is the, the, most, uh, the most difficult. Why? Because in this case, phrase of her can also have a figurative or idiomatic meaning. In this, these two elements that we have there um, make us uh, difficult to understand them, okay? If we see the example that we have here, can you put me up for tonight? Can you put me up? Oh, but what does it mean, put me up? 
if we see the, the, the explanation there, it says that phrasal verb put up uh, in this context in does not, here does not mean to build, okay? Does not mean to build. As in uh, putting on fence up, he's given up another example. In this part, it has an idiomatic and figurative meaning. What, what is the meaning of this? Uh -huh. Okay, it's mean to let someone stay in your house. Oh, if you notice, we have a, an idiomatic and figurative meaning. Why? Because put me up, that's not mean built. Okay, put me up means that someone's going to stay where? Uh, in my house tonight. You can put me up for tonight. In this case, we, in the sentence, the sentence uh, itself, um, when we say that, we are asking, okay? Uh, for instance, I'm asking uh, Ms. Molina, uh, can you put me up for tonight? Oh, I'm requesting if I can stay in uh, her house, or in the case of, of Ms. Lopez, if I say, uh, can you put me up for tonight? That's mean I am asking, okay? I'm asking her to stay in her house. That's that's um, that's a meaning of put me up, put me up. Let's see the next one. <clears throat> Sorry. Um, in this case, we have some phrasal verbs that are separable or inseparable. Um, it says that sometimes the preposition of adverb is uh, placed either after the verb or after the object. In this case, it can be like Mary made up a really entertaining story. Okay, but check it, check it out the, the, the second sentence. Mary made the study up. Okay, made the study up. If it, uh, what happened there? Okay, in the first one we have the, the phrasal verbs and that are together, but in the second one they are separate. Uh, separate. Uh, why they are separate? Oh, because in this part we are using the objects. Okay, and in, in, in it can be positive. Uh, also, if the object is a pronoun, the preposition or adverb has to be replaced after the pronoun. In this case, like for instance, uh, she made it up, put it down, take it off, okay? In that case, if the, um, uh, uh, if we say if the object is a pronoun, the pronoun must be in the middle of the phrasal verb, okay? Like that. Um, let's see the rule number three. It says some phrasal verbs are always inseparable. For example, I came across, okay? I came across. We can't, we cannot, okay? We cannot separate, um, come across. We must learn what phrasal verbs are separable and what phrasal verbs are inseparable. And those phrasal verbs, you can, um, you can have a list of them and uh, you can study, okay? And also we're going to be talking another topic that is I need a day. But before going through, um, we're going to watch a video about phrasal verbs. So please pay attention to this video, okay? I will stop this, give me a second. Okay, please pay attention to the video that I have here for phrasal verb. Okay, 
Can you see the screen? Can you see the screen? No teacher. No teacher. No? Right now, yes. Mm, what about now? Yes. You can see it? Okay, very good. Uh, I'm going right now to share the video uh, that I have here. Please pay attention to it and then we're going to be discussing. Hi, as you know and recall, we use phrasal verbs a lot in English. This time we'll show you a list of three words phrasal verbs that you may use when talking about services and dating. Work with me and stay and find out what we want you to do. Listen to the following list of three phrasal verbs. Then I will use them in a sentence so you have a better idea of what they mean. Take some time to make sense of them. Stay at the end and see if you got the meaning right. Broken up with, came up with, looking forward to, cut down on, keep up with, put up with, get along with, take care of. Jennifer has broken up with her boyfriend again. Kevin came up with a great idea for our class reunion. I'm not looking forward to typing my essay. Maybe I'll get it done professionally. My doctor says I'm overweight. I should cut down on fatty foods. Rob can keep up with his students in his Mandarin class. He should get a tutor. I can't put up with the noise on my street. I'll have to move. My girlfriend doesn't get along with her roommate. They're always fighting. Bill can take care of his own finances. He has an accountant manage his money. Okay, uh, we're going to stop here. Okay, there. What are we going to do? Give me a second. Uh, okay, there. Uh, what are we going to do? In this case, we're going to see the sentence. We're going to check the sentence and we're going uh, to try to identify uh, the meaning of each uh, phrasal verb. This is going to be, uh, you, well, you're going to be working in trios and uh, you must identify uh, the, the meaning of those, of those um, of those phrasal verbs. Um, we're going to do trios. Let me see how many more. You are 11. Okay, what? Well, you're 10. Um, let me check. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're going to do this. Um, each group is going to take a uh, three phrasal verbs. Okay, for instance, broken up with, came up with, or put it with. Um, where you're going to take three phrasal verbs, and you are going to identify the meaning by ch uh, by checking the information that we have in these examples. Okay. Um, let me see. Well, um, you can use, you can use, um, an a screenshot if you want to, uh, have this live because I, I don't have the option to, to put the, the, the slide to everybody. Uh, so when, when you are in breakout rooms, okay, in that case, I can't, uh, use the, the screen with all of you. So for that reason, I'm asking you to take a screenshot and what you're going to do is to identify the meaning of those phrasal verbs, um, at least three of them, using the information that we have here in this part, in these examples, okay? So uh, go ahead. Is it clear what I'm saying? Uh, is it clear the, the activity that we are going to be developing? Yeah. Is it clear? Yes, teacher. Yes. Very good. So, so uh, I will open the breakout room right now.
And uh, you must be working with uh, the person that has been assigned to you. Uh, see you in around uh, six minutes, okay? I will see you in around six minutes and then you're going to tell me what uh, did you identify there. Go ahead. Please accept the invitation. You must click on join. I just we have a a, a week. What phrase? What what phrase are you going to take? Oh, so what are you gonna do? Just. For example, uh, it could be looking forward to. What does it mean? Can you repeat that again? It could be the um, looking forward to. Um, what does it mean? I'm going to choose has bro broken up broken up with okay broken up broken up with is a and a romantic relationship yes I know yes <laughs> Okay. So we have to make an example. Mm -hmm. No, just talk about the meaning. Okay. Call down um. Pardon me. Cut. Cut. Ah, uh, cut. Cut down on. Um. The, mean, the meaning of cut down on um is when a medical says that you can lose weight. Uh, when you uh, when you have to or you must to reduce uh, something for your health. Redu reduce uh, loss or lose lose weight. Uh huh. Okay. And put up with. Put. Put up with. Ah. Uh, put up with this when you. Wait. Uh, I think when this when, one, uh huh? But the but with this one, you get it. Mm -hmm. Keep up, keep with. What is the meaning in this case? 
is the the continuing keep up with the student in his Mandarin class. Ah, okay. The teacher can keep up the student in his Mandarin class. The student don't have the stay in class. <laughs> Keep up with is um, using, but um, I don't understand. I, I understand. I think it's when a person uh, reach uh, the attention of the students, have their attention the student. In the student, mm -hmm. want to stay in the class. I think. Okay. I think it's like he is going to maybe move to another um, school or something like that. So he okay. should get a tutor. Okay. The next. No, no. No. Yes. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Um, for that is what I say. I don't need your help. I can do it. I can do it. <laughs> Basically, that is. <laughs> that is possible. I will be a professional, but without. <laughs> well, number four, my doctor say I'm overweight. Overweight. I should go down. Fatty food. I don't know what it means. Like uh, is Fast that food. eating a little bit or uh, eating uh, uh, the vegetables, the healthy food. Maybe, or um, I eat it a little bit. I think that it's uh, when you eat, for example, a, put, uh, some fat, uh, like um, comida grasosa <laughs> in Spanish. Oh. That is the meaning of that word. It means comida chatarra. Probably, yeah, but another way to say could be please. The take it off, take it off that oh, easy because uh, healthy food, uh -huh. maybe vegetable and fruit. <laughs> yes, <laughs> and please don't watch a lot of TV or cell phone. Go out, <laughs> <laughs> exercise. <laughs> yes. That is a good advice. <laughs> <laughs> In Spanish, por favor, no sea flojo. <laughs> Don't give up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, the time is over. No. No. <laughs> Why? The, the, the time passed uh, so fast. We have one minute more. <laughs> yeah. Well, continue. Number five, Rob can keep with keep up, keep up with the student in his Mandarin class. Ooh, he should get a tutor. <laughs> <laughs> he have to work really hard. What do you think? I understand him. Uh, like I, I understand. In Spanish, mm, eh, John, ¿sí? Rob, Rob, yes, no Rob. pudo seguir el ritmo de sus compañeros en la clase de mandarín. <laughs> yes. Hello. 
Well, let's see. I will close the breakout rooms. Hello. Hello. Okay, um, well, I think that everybody is here now uh, and we're going to be discussing. Okay, you're going to tell me um, what were the phrasal verbs that you decided to take and you're uh, going to tell me the meaning or what did you understood uh, with the phrasal verbs that you uh, were discussing, okay? Who is going to be first? Who is going to participate first? Me, teacher. Okay, Miss Lopez. Go ahead. The number one mm -hmm. means Jennifer and his boyfriend separate. Okay. Just one or all? Um, well, just one is okay. Uh, let me see. Someone else. Thank you, Miss Lopez. Welcome. Uh, let me see. Someone else. Who wants to participate? Who wants to say, who wants to, uh, let me see, who wants to do it? Uh, Miss Molina, you opened the, the <laughs> microphone. <laughs> you, I, I saw that you opened, I saw that you opened the microphone, so for that reason. <laughs> okay, no problem. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Okay, um, that the, Miss Lopez said that number one is mm -hmm. she finished that relationship with boyfriends. Mm -hmm. uh, the number two, uh, Kevin came up with a great idea for our classmate. Uh, it's related to the smart, smart person and uh, only looking for the new idea for doing that, everything. Okay, thank you. So, uh, Miss Miss Hernandez, you sent an emoji. So, tell me, Mr. Hernandez, sorry, uh, Mr. Hernandez. Okay. Yes. Uh, my case. You just want the definition number two or number three. You decide, you decide, so just tell me. In my case, I'm going to define the number four. Number four, okay, go ahead. My definition of cut down on is when a medical says that you can, for example, lose weight, Mm -hmm. Or, for example, lose the bad habits, the small drinking. Mm, okay, okay, okay. Okay, very good. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Uh, let's see the last one. Just one uh, participant more. Hi. 
Okay, Miss Lopez, go ahead. Okay, um, Rob can keep up with the student in the in his Mandarin class. He should get a tutor. I think that preferred when you leave something because it's very difficult to understand or to do. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Uh, well, that's been all for today. Uh, the time goes uh, so fast, so we are missing just three minutes because we're going to finish at um, at what? At nine o'clock. So, uh, um, if, if you have any question about the platform, uh, you can ask right now and I will answer. Uh, if not, uh, please let me know. For me, not teacher. No, I don't have no. any questions. Okay, thank you, sir. Um, In my case, I'm waiting for a help to that yesterday said, say to uh, yeah. that the final exam, the exception number D, and the, the third part of the exercise and the sentence number three and number four. Okay, do you send that to the WhatsApp group? Yes, I send it. Ah, okay, okay. I will check the WhatsApp group. Uh, is, let me check. Let me see if I, I can. It yesterday. Yesterday. Teacher. Yes, teacher. Teacher, okay. I have the same problem. Okay, okay. The, Let uh, me... Part B of final exam. Of the final exam. Um, yeah. Let me see. Merlin, right? Yes. Okay, very good. So I will check it. I will check it. Um, and I will, well, I will do this because I, I need to remember. Um, let me see. Okay, this. Okay. Here. Um, very good. I will check it. I will check that, that, um, that information. And I will send you an answer, okay? And then you can okay. try. Okay, thank you. Okay, very good. Uh, well, that's been all for tonight. Is Lopez, do you want to say something? You have your Microsoft microphone, I mean, open? No? Ah, okay, <laughs> thank you. No, thank you. Okay, okay, thank you. Uh, so that's been all for tonight. I will see you till next week. You, we are missing just four session, se uh, sessions, yes. Um, so that means that you are almost finished in this course. Uh, please, you must complete uh, all the exercise. If you haven't finished one of them, uh, because it's difficult, because uh, you, don't have, you don't know how to do it, uh, you can ask me or you can go with the next uh, exercise because you, you have that opportunity to solve the exercise that, uh, uh, from the next activity, okay? So please solve all the exercise and try to get at least the 80% of all of them uh, in the final score, okay? You must need the 80% to get your certification. Please do it, okay? So I will see you next week and have a nice weekend and uh, well, have a nice, a nice night. See you. Okay, bye bye everybody. Bye. 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 Thank you, bye.